Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about some questions based on increasing and decreasing functions. Okay, let me write down the question number one. So students, here is a question which states that find the intervals in which the function given by fx equal this is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. So the fx given to us as 4x cube minus 6x square minus 72x plus 30. Okay. So the f dash x will be. So as you all know, students, for this function to be strictly increasing, f dash x should be greater than zero. So I am finding out the value of f dash x which is 12x square minus 12x minus 72 and for this function to be strictly increasing this should be greater than 0. So if I find out the roots of this is x minus 3 and x plus 2 greater than 0. So this is the number line where minus 2 and 3 are plotted okay so if you will check whether where is the function is strictly increasing or decreasing okay so for function to be increasing if I put the value here the function will be increasing positive sign but in this interval minus 2 to 3 it is negative and it is again for increasing here okay so I can say that from minus infinity to minus 2 fx is strictly increasing okay from minus 2 to 3 fx is strictly decreasing I hope student that you are getting that how this wavy curve met from this wavy curve method I am getting this plus minus sign here you can put any value uh, like 4 here this will give you a positive sign okay is again strictly increasing okay so these are the intervals we need to find out where the function is strictly increasing and decreasing okay now let's move to question number 2 so students, here is question number 2 which states that find intervals in which the function given by fx equals sin 3x where x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 is increasing or decreasing. So we are given fx equals sin 3x okay, and we need to find out f dash x which will be 3 cos 3x. I hope that you guys can easily solve the differentiation now. So therefore, as you can see, f dash x equals 0 gives cos 3x equals 0, which in turn gives it gives 3x is equal either pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 because x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 close it both closed okay implies 3x belongs 0 to pi by 2 3 pi by 2 multiplying both the term by 3 so from here x is equals to either pi by 6 or and pi by 2 thus we can say if I draw the line pi by 2 pi by 6 0 so I can check whether if it is pi by 6 to pi by 2 whether the value is f dash x is positive or not so you will get student f dash x is positive in the interval 
0 to pi by 6 okay because it is in the first quadrant there cos 3 is and f dash h is negative here so the function is in strictly increasing in the range 0 to pi by 6 okay 0 closed pi by 6 open strictly increasing and from pi by 6 to pi by 2 function is decreasing strictly decreasing so these are the two values which we need to find out so I hope student now you are pretty clear about how to solve the questions based on strictly increasing and strictly decreasing functions okay and if you are still facing any doubt or any question or this then please do comment in the <laughs> comment section students thank you happy learning